Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, as I was doing this for my own car, I decided to make a short video about uh, this and explain and show my method of taking apart and cleaning the hydraulic lifters on Rover V8s. Uh, these lifters are out of a uh, Tor V8 from my Discovery 2, but this is exactly the same for all Rover V8s. So, anyway, I'm going to show quickly my method and then talk about it later. First of all, I take a pick like this, basically an O-ring pick, same thing. On top of here, you have a little C-shaped spring. You take that, pop it out. Like so. Lucky I caught that one. Looks like this. This goes into a bath of gasoline and diesel mix that I have due to a car having them fueled incorrectly. And one thing I think I can show now is why I'm doing this. I don't know if you guys will be able to see on video, but this lifter is not moving. It's mm -mm. stuck. That's it. So then you can clean it a bit of oil and give it a hit, or not even a hit, and you can see the cap falls out. The cap has the top end, which is slightly concave, it bulges in, and then the other side that goes in has like two steps in it, into the fuel. Then comes the fun part, which most people sometimes have issues with, and it's getting out the piston, which moves inside here. Sometimes they come out easily, and sometimes not. And basically, sometimes you hit them like this a few times, and they start coming out. Sometimes they fall out, which is good, but in that case, you kind of don't need to do this. Anyway, there are many methods of trying to get these out, but my preferred method is try to hit it a few times so it like comes slightly out. Take a piece of paper here, and then I take my air gun and put the head of my air gun in here and load. And there you can see, just get a small burst of air and it pushed the piston out. And the reason this works is basically the same way it works within the car. If you, I pull this out here at the bottom, there's a one-way check valve with a, ball, a small a ball and a spring. So I press air up through here it comes out through three holes here at the bottom and into the sealed end of the cylinder and pops out. Sometimes these can be hard to get out, some ways they come easily, but basically this is my method. And I wanted to get this said quickly due to viewer, due to viewer attention being really short. So if you want to know quickly how to take those apart, that's how. If you want to don't you want to watch the rest of the video and want to know how to put them back together, put them in, just clean them up, put them in oil, and put them back together in the reverse order of their cane. But I'm going to at least try clean them now and ramble for a bit. Uh, anyway, when it comes to cleaning these lifters, there are basically, I guess, different methods, but I'm going to just explain my method and explain why I do the way I do and with the with the, which I mean two methods I think that there, there's one method where you take all the lifters out put them into some kind of gasoline or solvent or anything like that and let them soak for 24 hours before even starting to take them apart or oven cleaner or what, whatever you feel like just soak them or take them apart and soak them and then we will them to put back together but it's usually said that with uh, lifters like this, if you're going to put them back into the car you're taking them out of, they have worked themselves into the camshaft. So they need to be in the, the same location. Of course you can like try and keep track of which lifter goes where. But at the same time, I feel like it's more hassle than it's worth trying to keep what's what's it, 16 lifters to know which one goes exactly where. 
and I feel like this method which I do is I'm in the middle of working on my engine I just take one out come here sit down takes maybe 10 minutes clean it put it back and I'm done go to the next one and so I don't ever mix them up and I feel like this method gets them clean enough let's say so basically here I have a vat of diesel and gasoline where I just clean the parts put them here to drain and yeah there's not much more to say right now than I'm cleaning it's just I noticed before that there are actually not many videos about how to clean uh, lifters like this I know that Micron Britannica Restorations did a video but his method, I don't remember when he did it, but I remember he didn't use the air gun like I do. He, I remember him beating on them quite hard with a bolt and a hammer, but anyway, I, every method works, if it works, do whatever you feel like. I'm just decided I'd share my method because I feel like, I don't know, the air gun trick, I've, I don't know, I haven't seen it anywhere before. I figured it out a few years ago. And, I figured it out a few years ago and thought I'd share. Anyway, just clean everything as well as you can. Take a look inside. Of course you're never going to get out everything. Unless you like use ultrason uh, ultrasonic cleaners and all that and let them soak for many hours. But then again, as I said, I don't like that method because I feel there's a bigger risk of mixing them together. And I don't know if there, I actually don't know if anything bad will happen if you mix them together. But I just heard that put them back where you took them from. And I'm just going to try to do that. But anyway. Now that I have all the parts cleaned, I'm just going to load them up with air and drop into a vat of regular motor oil, the same oil I use in my engine. And then just dry everything up. And into the oil, and I think maybe, if you can see, I'm going to blow into the valve and there should be a bit of gasoline squirting out in three directions through the one-way valve might maybe you can see it. i don't know if the camera caught but anyway the one-way valve i was talking about and these are the ones that get stuck so if if you can clearly blow air through them and they're clean means the lifters are going to work usually at least who knows something else might be fucked whoops demonetized fun story i have even i have gotten strikes from youtube and that is because i have one video where i was moving hay bales with my tractor i had the radio playing in the background just so everyone knows anyway putting them back together Cylinder, outer cylinder, good and oily. Then take the piston. One way, I usually do it like this. I have the one way valve pointed up. Then you take the spring, put the spring on, and then invert this and push it in. And I just feel that helps it for keeping the spring in place. Then you take the cap, put the cap on in the correct orientation, and before I forget, the clip, clean it up also a bit, and now the way I like to put the, these together is I use just a punch, same punch I showed in the beginning, just put this over the punch, put the punch in here. And I'm right-handed, so I press with the left punch, press down, and this can be a bit finicky, 
but once you get the hang of it it's not hard then just with your fingers voila put it back together with the clipper and now you should be able to see of course it's not completely filled with oil but I don't know if you can see but the lifter is actually lifting now it's actually moving it's not stuck which is good so anyway I hope you enjoy uh, the video and maybe it was helpful for someone and if you have any questions suggestions or anything just leave a message in the comments and thank you for watching